Um, hey everybody, what is going on? I am OGFH and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your OBS settings. I've been streaming for a couple months. I'm currently standing at about 1800 followers, but the past couple days we've been gaining about 100 to like 150 followers a day. We've had an extreme like increasing growth for the channel. The channel will be in the description. And I'm making this video in a series of videos because I want to help people be able to stream. I get a lot of questions on how do I stream? Hey, can you help me set up my OBS settings? Hey, can you private message me and show me how to do this or that? And I just kind of want to get it all done. And I'm going to put it into a series of videos and a series of steps. So I think the first video is just going to be the settings, what you got to do, what you got to figure out before you can start streaming. The next will be how to do your scenes and then another video on how to add your ca your devices and stuff like that. How to set up your alerts. I'm going to do everything in a series of videos. So guys, be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, like. If there's any other questions that I do miss in this video, be sure to you know write them down in the description. And I'm going to go over my OBS settings and alternatives that you can use. Um, the two alternatives is because if you have a, a GeForce or NVIDIA graphics card, there's a setting in there that um that takes the power off your processor and makes it so your graphics thing, your graphics processing unit your gpu um will help you help you stream it'll, it'll take some of uh, the load off of your cpu and otherwise you would be streaming totally entirely off the cpu uh, itself so i'm going to show you the first thing you want to do is before we get into anything you want to go over your internet speed so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to a website right here and it's called speedtest.net once you go to speedtest.net, you are going to want to click begin test, and it's going to test your internet connection. You, If you want to stream to Twitch um, with pretty good quality, you're going to want to at least have 5 megabyte upload. When I'm directly to the modem, I get a download of like 130. Right now, I'm connected to a router to the modem. Um, my download speed is about 90. You'll see it's going to, it's going to get capped somewhere, and then it's going to get to upload speed. So... Um, whenever that's done also you're gonna want a good computer you're probably gonna want about an i5 for a processor my upload speed right now is poop i gotta go talk to my provider or whatever because it, it, it should be 100 down 25 up uh, we have to figure that out um so yeah you're gonna want a pretty decent computer as well about eight gigabytes of ram if you're gonna be pc gaming and streaming um it, it depends on what games you're playing also you're gonna want at least an, a, a third to fourth generation i5 I have, in this computer, I have a 4th generation i5. In my other computer, I have a 3rd generation i7. And then, if you want to uh, PC game, you're going to want to have like a, a graphics card. Um, on the NVIDIA side, which I recommend for streaming because OBS does have the setting, um, I would recommend something like a 660 or better. 750 like or greater. 750, 660, 760, um, you know, 960. All those, all those type of processes up. And so yeah, so right now I have 12 megabytes up, which is pretty good. I can basically stream 1080p 60fps with 10 megabytes uh, upload. And then now we're gonna go into settings. So these are the settings that you're gonna want to select and have done. Um, we're gonna go through everything, and I'm gonna show you how to set up so you can stream. So general English, whatever. This is just for your personal preference for your OBS. Um, none of this really matters, but what does matter is encoding. Now this is the part of the video where I'm gonna skip to one of, of two. You're gonna go to one or two options. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you're going to want to want to click on the top right of the video and you're going to want to skip ahead. If you don't have a graphics card and you just want to stream from your PC without having a graphics processing unit and it's just going to be a core processor, you're going to want to continue this video right now. So don't go ahead and skip anything. I will get back to it um, on the side of you know, go, going from graphics cards processor. And so, and then we'll, when we get to the end of it, um, we'll skip ahead so you can skip, you know, cause the video's gonna be kind of two parts. So this is gonna be for the processor. So you're gonna wanna select encoder by 264. And this is gonna be for streaming, which we, we didn't set up. This is for streaming. Encoder 264, and then you're gonna wanna use CBR. And your bitrate is gonna depend on your upload speed. And it's also gonna depend on uh, the resolution and stuff that you're streaming at. You're, if you don't know how to stream, I'm going to assume you're not going to have a partnership. So don't worry about having a high bit rate and it make, looking amazing. You, since you don't have a partnership, when you, when you have a partnership, you're, you get route your server like that you, that you stream to. They're different servers. When you have a partnership, you have source quality options, all this stuff. And your uh, video look, looks like at the best, at the peak it will look. When you have a... When you're not partnered... It, you get put with everybody else and you know the it doesn't look as good just know that just once you're partnered your video output will be a lot better than when you're not partnered so you're gonna want to stick between um 3000 to 3 350 um now here's the thing 
you can go down to as far as 2500 um, depending on your upload speed let's say you have about five but if you have a lower bit rate your video isn't gonna be as good quality but more people will be able to download it um, when you have a higher bit rate and don't go over 3500 if you're not partnered when you have a higher bit rate that means people that watch you have to have better internet or a that's slightly better internet but that can be the difference between someone joining your chat and saying hey I'm lagging I can't watch the stream blah 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 you know like I have viewers that come in that followed me on one, one day when the internet was doing good and then another day is like hey it's lagging I can't watch the stream right now I gotta go so whatever so I, re I recommend streaming about 3000 to 3200 I personally use 3200 um buffer size whatever I keep the bit rate um at like 320 or 196 I think or, or 192 I'm not too sure what I keep it at but that is for audio um, 40 kilohertz stereo channel make sure it's stereo because if it's mono all the audio will only come out from one ear and then broadcast settings um, you're gonna want to do the live stream because I, all the settings are there because this is my recording so don't worry about that don't worry about this live stream then you want to go to Twitch and then you're gonna want to, to relatively the, the servers closer to you will be the best to use so go to um, San Francisco or like for me I live in Arizona I'm gonna go to San Francisco or San Jose or LA LA and San Francisco for me are the two best and then your um, stream key what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to your twitch dashboard which you can find when you make your account if you go um, from the twitch website um, the home page you get a uh, your account click dashboard it'll take you here stream key and this is your your stream key that is unique to you this is basically your pathway there's a bunch of paths there's all these paths and this is your pathway where your account will be streamed on so from your OBS it'll take this path code and say okay I'm connecting to a twitch server and I'm connecting to this specific route if people get your stream key um, they can broadcast onto your channel whatever they want so make your stream key is very important make sure no one can get it at any time and so you're gonna want to copy and then from there you're gonna want to copy your stream key and then you're gonna want to paste it right here all right and then um and th don't worry about this 3500 reduce audio bit rate you know okay so you're gonna want to reduce your audio bit rate to 160. um and then everything should be fine automatically save uh stream to file when you click live what's gonna happen is that it's gonna make a video file um for your stream so if you stream an hour it's gonna make a, an hour long video file if you stream six hours maybe six hours i don't recommend doing that and i'll show you why later but for now, just don't automatically save stream to file because there's a way you can get kind of get around it and only record and keep what you want, and then you can edit it later in the future. Okay, so don't stream, uh, don't save the stream file because um, on Twitch you can save all your broadcast, and then I I use OBS to just record the broadcast, you know, instead of having it saved to my computer automatically while I'm streaming. And then you're gonna want to go to video, and but you're gonna want to click yes because you want to save the settings. And then you're going to pick your video adapter. If you don't have a graphics card, it's just going to be your, your uh, CPU graphics. So your integrated graphics. I have an, a fourth generation i5 in this computer. So I have Intel graphics at HD 4600. Um, but I do have a graphics card in here. So I'm going to use a graphics card. And the base resolution is your screen. I have a 1080p monitor. So it's going to be 1920 by 1080, 16 by 9. And the resolution downscale is what you're going to stream at. So if you want to stream at 720p, which if you're not partnered, I recommend that you do. 1.5 downscale, so you're gonna stream at 720p. F, uh, FPS, I'm gonna you're gonna you can choose between 30 or 60. If you're streaming 3200 bit rate at 720p, I can say you can get away with 60. Um, the more frames and the more um, higher resolution, and if you're at a lower bit rate, it can look a little funky. So if that's up to you to mess around with your bit rate, your settings, or whatever. Filter, go with bilinear because it'll this will shit on your computer. And if you don't have a best computer or like a, a crazy eight core like i7 processor or something or you know then just just go with fastest i use fastest if i use um uh by pubic or by cubic what the hell um 16 details whatever um it, it shits on my computer i stream personally at 720p 30 fps just for now when i do get a partnership if i do get a partnership in the future which i hope i do i will stream 720p 60 or 1080p uh, 60 as well so that's all you gotta know for that if you want to stream 720 this right here is your monitor all right don't mess that up that's your monitor and this is the downscale and if you have no downscale of course that is 1080p you're gonna want to go to audio and now desktop um audio is gonna this is this right here your desktop audio device is gonna be what um the, uh, the stream gets in audio 
I have it for my desktop, so any audio that plays from my computer will go straight into it. If you have headphones in, whatever is going to those headphones, because down here, the mixer, you can have different things go to different areas. Like if I have a monitor that I don't want my headphones connected to, you know, you can mess with your devices and stuff. And you can have audio going through different um, like areas, like your headphones or a monitor and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. So I just use default. And then my microphone, I have an Audio Technica AT2020. And so then you're just gonna wanna pick your microphone. All right, and then advanced. Okay, sorry about that, I had to fix something real quick. Um, so now we're back. So this, you might've noticed has changed is because now we're on CPU, not the, um, the G GPU. Disable encoding while previewing. This will encode while you're previewing. You don't really want that, it's just taking up wasted resources. Your video 264 CPU preset. Um, you want very fast encoding. You're gonna wanna have main keyframe intervals about two. Use CFR, and that's all you gotta do with settings. And that is for if you're using your CPU. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch to if you are using a graphics card and you wanna use the Nvidia NVNC encoder. It takes more off your processor, so your processor can do other things, and it, it, it increases um, performance with like your computer in general instead of having your processor just primarily. Uh, primarily on a uh, OBS so now we're gonna switch to that okay so here we are and I'm gonna be showing you how to do the Nvidia or graphics card if you have that route Nvidia and VNC is what you're gonna want to use use CBR enabled and of course um, depending on your internet speed you're gonna want to either use like between 2500 3500 what I mentioned in the other one and I'm gonna mention now again is that if you have a bit rate um, that is high your stream has to download it and if you have a bit rate that is lower like 2500 your stream has to download it as well if it's a lower bit rate the video won't look as good but more people will be able to download it but if it's 3500 sometimes people will have a good day and they watch you and their internet works perfectly fine sometimes they have a bad day and their internet can't quite keep up with that speed that you're streaming at because if you're not partnered they will have to download the source video when you're not partnered and then when you are partnered, your your video and stream goes to like two, imagine two different paths. One is a golden path, one is like a shitty copper path. All the people that aren't partnered with Twitch go down the copper path and that's where their video is massively, um, like their stream is massively like put out. And then when they are partnered, they have these amazing servers and whatever, their audio looks good. Your bit rate you're going to want to keep at to 160 for audio, audio codec AAC, 48 kilohertz, stereo audio, make sure it's stereo. All right, and then you're gonna want to go to broadcast settings, live stream. You're gonna want to go to Twitch, um, and then find the server that's near you. I live in Arizona, so San Francisco, California works for me. LA or San Jose works, and then your play or stream key. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go ahead and go to your dashboard, which you can do if you're from the Twitch homepage. You can um, click on your account up here and then go to dashboard. Okay, from here, stream key show key and this is very important your stream key is your own path where you're, you're sending your your video to and whatever if people get your stream key they can stream off your account even if they don't have your information so make sure your stream key is private and nobody has your stream key so that's very important so what you're gonna want to do is copy and then you're gonna paste that right here just control V or right click and paste um, auto reconnect whatever automatically save stream to file Make sure that's unchecked because it'll take up processing power on your CPU and your hard drive while you are um, streaming, which you, you really don't want. Um, what, in, instead, what you can do from Twitch is you can have it so Twitch automatically saves your broadcast. And when it saves your broadcast, it'll allow you to um, like go back and instead of, um, you can't really edit it, but you can use OBS again to record it. And I'll show you that in a video on how to um, edit your own stream recording and stuff like that later on now we're gonna go ahead and go to video um, and then right here um, you're gonna pick your adapters if you have the Nvidia graphics card obviously you're gonna use your video adapter and use the Nvidia graphics card your base resolution is the monitor resolution I use a 1080p monitor so I'm gonna be using um, my the 1080p resolution 1920 by 1080p 16 by 9 the resolution downscale is um, going to be your what you're gonna stream at if you want to stream at 1080p Go ahead um, but I recommend streaming if it's your first time at 720p and starting right here at 30 FPS use bilinear because um, by cubic and the other one will really demolish your CPU and even your grab like it, your performance will get a big hit um, so 1.5 is what I, I stream I stream 720 30 FPS if you stream around 3200 3500 um, bitrate um, that you get from encoding you can probably get away with 60 frames per second 
Um, but I, I just go for 30 right now. You can mess with it. Sometimes for some people, 1080p 60 frames per second works. For some people, it doesn't. For me personally, the best um, is 720p 60, but 720p 30 just to be on the safe side is what I use. Um, audio. Um, your desktop device is going to be um, your obviously your default. So I, I use my default, which means any, any audio that gets played to my desktop, the stream picks up as well. So um, if I'm listening to music, I use that so I can listen to music off iTunes and stuff like that. Um, the microphone um, is what is obviously my microphone. You can pick whatever microphone. Um, you can select different ones, but if you have different, like your mixer down here, sometimes you can have different things like my headphones, which is actually my speaker that my earbuds are plugged into. Um, you know, you can mess with that and have your own audio from different places and stuff. Um, since you're going to be using NVIDIA, you're going to want to go to use multi-thread optimization, process priority class high, 700, allow auto modify, um, and then just allow auto modifiers, whatever. Use CFR, and then you're going to want to go to NVIDIA default. NVENC is like the NVIDIA encoding, whatever, and you're just going to want to use default, and then encoding profile main, and key interval um, is going to be 2, and then you're all set. That's all you got to do. Those are all your settings for streaming. Um... In the next video, I'll be going over how to add scenes, how to do other stuff like that. So be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, like. Those are the settings for if you have a graphics card and a processor, when you obviously you'll have one or the other. You have the processor, those were the settings for your processor. You have the graphics card, those are the settings for your graphics card. And I will get into more in the next episode. Of course, next episode, we're going to be going over scenes and sources, adding other stuff, how to do stuff quickly. And then after that, I'll be showing how to do alerts and all that. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, like. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.